Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see an equation in array. So basically we are given a sorted array where we can have the negative number as well as the positive number. Now we need to square each number and we need to arrange array such that that even after squaring that it should be the sorted way. Right? So like if you see here in this array I have the values minus 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 3 and 5. So if you just square each number then it will be like this way 16, 4, 1, 9 and 24. Right? But this is not sorted. So you need to arrange it in sorted manner like this way that all the values are sorted manner. So what you can do either that first of all you will square each number and then you will and then you can apply sorting here. Right? Or what you can do that first of all you will sort this complete array and then you will square each number. So both the cases are same kind of. But now if you see in sorting it basically takes big of n log n. Right? My complexity is n log n. So if there is any way so that we can improve the complexity so that would be better. Right? So basically what we can do that we have these numbers. We have minus 4, minus 2 and minus 3, 3 and 5. Now let's assume we need to create this in new array. Right? This we need to update. We need not to update on the same array. It's just that we need to let's say create the new array. Right? And if I need to print, if I need to put all these value into new array. So we will also see that how we can update in the same value in the same array. But let's see that if I need to create the new array. So in this case, my size will be equal to the same. Right? and these are the indexes. Now what you see that if you know that from the either the either the highest value the highest value either it will be at this end or it can be at this end. Highest value means after squaring. So like if I square this value this is 16 and if I square this value this will be 25. Right? Now let's say if minus rather than minus 4 it can have minus 6. So if it is minus 6, then it will be 36 and it will be 25, right? After squaring minus 6 minus 6 is 26 and after squaring 5 it will be 25. Now in this case, if it is the case, this 36 will be at the end of the array, of this new array, right? So basically what we can do, we can take a two variable. We will take a start variable and we will take a end variable. Now we'll be now we'll now we'll multiply the each number. Basically, we'll square the each number, and we'll see that which number is greater. And whichever number is greater, we'll first of all put this value here. And here also we'll start from this index. So let's say this is i, this is i, this is a start, and this is end. So now we'll put 36 here, and then if the value if the value is higher at this side, then we'll increase the start. So now rather than here, now I will increase the start here. And now I will again compare the value by squaring the value. So now here it is here it is 4 and here it is 25. Now which value is greater? Greater is this 24. 25. Then I will put 25 here and I will decrease the end. So my end will be here. Now I, I will again compare this 2 and 3. So here after squaring it is 4 and after squaring here it is 9. So again this value is greater. So I will put 9 here and I will decrease the end. Right? Now I will check which is greater. So here I am getting 4 and here I am getting 1. So it is the case. It means again I will put 4 here and I will increase the start. Now here, now here if you see that here I have a start and end. Right? And in this case both the values are same. So I will go one further and I will and I'll put 1 here. So when I will go again further in this case your start is, your start is greater than end. So we will stop here. So now if you see this our this our new array square array is sorted right so this is a way if you see in this case we are basically taking two array this is start we are basically taking two variables one is start variable and one is end variable and using the and using the iteration of the start from the starting and for end from this end then we are basically comparing the values and then whichever value is greater we are putting in here and according to that we are increasing the start or we are decreasing the end and we'll do this until start is less than equals to end, right? So this by this way, if you see, we can solve our question in big of n. Why? Because we are doing only one iteration of all the element. So in one iteration of all the elements, we can solve in. Now, if you see the time complexity, space complexity in this case, 
so space complexity is also new array because we are all together taking a new array so it will be big of n right so here is the case uh, first of all i am taking the array and this is my function square in sorted manner where i am passing the array now in this case the first solution is when i need to take the new array right so in this case we will not alter the existing array we'll create a new array and then we'll put the value so in this case we'll initialize a new array which of the length of the same and then for this i'll fill the value from the end so that is why i'm taking i equals to array length minus 1 and now i'm taking two variable start equals to 0 and end equals to array length minus 1 now i'll operate this until start is less than end and then i'm doing this that first of all check the multiply both the value that that is how i get the square and if the value at the start if if the square value at the start is greater it means i'll put the i fill the value at i in the new index in the new array and then i'll increase the start right similarly if the value if the value at end is greater if the value of the square at end is greater in this case i'll fill the value here and then i'll decrease the end right so it will keep on going and then will return the square is going the new value right right so that's it for this video and if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and i will also put this source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you